Hi all, we continue talking about VPN services and today we will talk about another free application and extension for browsers HoloVPN. We will look at it on Windows 10 Pro as well as an extension in the Chrome browser. In this video we will conduct important tests with the help of which we will evaluate the most important characteristics of the VPN – safety, speed, access to internet resources. So let's go! I go to the site hola.org, link as always in the description of this video, and the first thing I see is a huge number of devices and browsers of which I can install Hola. Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Opera, of course iOS, Huawei, Samsung, Windows, macOS, and even Xbox, PlayStation, consoles, routers, Apple TV, Smart TV, Fire TV, and LG. But for now, I'll postpone the download until later and try to learn more about Hola security. The developer claims. With thousands of servers and millions of IPs, you can access any website and enjoy your favorite movies, TV shows, games, and more in over 190 countries. And all this for free? Where is the catch? And the catch is that Hola is not a classic VPN service. It works by using other people's IP addresses, namely through the IP addresses of its users in different countries. This does not apply to extensions for Chrome and Opera browsers. At this point, we could end our review, as this approach makes internet browsing dangerous. If someone connects to your system through Hola and does something illegal, it looks like you did it. Hola VPN is also deceiving when talking about security and anonymity. Take a look at the privacy policy, and we learn that Hola VPN collects personal information, installed applications, registration through social network account, and free users' log data. And moreover, the developer points us, we may disclose minimal personal information to other trusted third-party service providers or partners for the purposes of providing you with the services, storage, and analytics. No comment. This is the biggest user security threat in plain sight in the history of our channel, and we haven't even tested the application yet. Well, let's download and evaluate the functionality. I'm interested in the Chrome extension and the Windows desktop app. To use the application you need to register. Given the quality of security, I really don't want to do this, but all for your sake. Ok, I'm launching HoloVPN, choosing a country. That's all. There are no more functions of the main screen. Let's look at the settings. Here are two the developers were modest. You can find out which version you are currently using, enable dark theme, enable manual server selection, share device resources, read the documentation, report a problem. And what is interesting and unexpected is to turn on the kill switch. In the same menu you can enable auto connection and play the advanced settings. Now the Chrome extension. Just find it in the upper right corner of the window. On the main screen I also select the country. In the advanced settings, in general, everything is the same, although I can select the desired language. In the test we will compare the results when Hola is disabled and when the application is activated, both desktop and extension. The first one is the speed test. On the screen you can see the test results before connecting to the VPN. After connecting to USAP through the app, it just feels terrible. The test confirms this. Let's try a closer country to my real location, for example Slovakia. This is the worst result ever for VPN reviews. Now let's try to use the extension, and here everything is much more interesting. The speed hasn't dropped. So far we see that the desktop application for Windows suffers from terrible connection speed and the lack of security. The extension makes sense to use if you need just access to some restricted website, but always remember that you get speed at the cost of security. The second test – DNS leak test. I've chosen the extended mode that performs 6 query rounds. I'll test the app first. A leak has occurred. Among the specific IP addresses, there are those that I did not specify when connecting to the VPN. I chose the IP address of the Czech Republic and the addresses of Austria we found the results. Now I'll try it with the browser extension activated. There was also a leak here. I used the IP addresses of Angola and the IP address from Poland was displayed. The next test that is also important for me – GeoTest. 
In the application I chose Belgium, the test determined my geolocation in the UK. This means that my real log was not determined, but the result cannot be called successful, since the country that I have not selected is displayed. Now I will select Brazil in the browser extension. And here is a complete fail. My real location is determined. IP test with Chrome extension on pass. Only the address I have selected is displayed here. Yet another issue is detected, my real public IP address is visible. The last test is a real-time communication. The application passed the test successfully. With the extension, again, everything is bad. About access to websites, since the service uses a non-standard VPN system, it is extremely difficult to check this item. We have access to different IP addresses and it makes no sense to check any particular addresses. You need to experiment depending on each individual case. For example, in my country there is no access to contacted.com website. Both the app and the extension did a great job of giving me access to the site. From this point of view everything is fine. But this one instance is not enough to assess whether VPN is up to the task. What I liked is that in the paid version you can change the IP address if even in google.com. By the way, about the paid version. The subscription costs from $1.5 to $6.5 per month. Depends on whether you subscribe for a month, a year or three years. For this money the developers promises. Unblock any site, connects up to 10 devices, HD video streaming, about 1000 fastest servers, unlimited VPN time, best-in-class security and encryption, best-in-class security and encryption. Very controversial points. I don't trust this anymore. By the way, I contacted support to see if I can try a trial version of the premium subscription. There is still no answer. I've been waiting all day. And conclusion. Friends, I don't even see the point in talking about the advantages or disadvantages. I definitely do not recommend using it for any purpose, because it could put you in danger. Perhaps the extension can give you access to some internet resources, and even at high speed. But keep a huge risk to personal data in mind. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to like and share with your friends, be resilient and be sure to write in the comment what VPN you use.